Hey, House Flipper fans, and welcome back. This episode, we're going to do the yacht. It's from the Luxury DLC. Um, and I've been kind of putting this one off because I don't think there's a lot of, like, wall changing and things like that, opening things up, kind of my style. So we're going to try it and check it out and see what happens. So let's go and do the before. So I guess it kind of lands us here on the, I don't know if you would even call this, the, not the bridge, the first level of the yacht. Got a lot of garbage to clean up. I guess it would be kind of the bridge. You got the steering column up here. Let's go check out back here down to kind of a water's edge and a platform back here. We've got the walkways that go all the way around. Kind of a nice area up here. We'll definitely make a lounge area out of this. Now from here, the canals are filled with water, but my houses on those were not interesting. Let's see what else we've got. Got upstairs. So another sitting area here. Guess this would be the bridge. It's sparking. Interesting. Pull out the hammer. And then I believe there are two downstairs. So we've got one side here with a bathroom, other side here, does not appear to be a bathroom on this side. Let's go check out the other side. Uh, it does appear there's a bathroom on this side here and a bathroom on that side. So huh, interesting that we've got bathrooms on three of the rooms, but not this one. Or is it over there? No. Nope. Well, that could be kind of a living room, I guess. That's the walkthrough of the before. There's even a little boat. I don't think it'll let you use it. Oh. Oh, it returns you to the office. That's how you get back. Well, anyways, that is the before walkthrough. I'm going to transition this thing, and I'll see you back shortly. And welcome back. We are here at the finished yacht from the Luxury DLC. Um, I have cleaned it up and done it to the best of my ability. I think it turned out okay. It's not my typical style, but um, sure, I might want to live on this yacht. It's pretty cool. So here we are on the main floor, uh, the one that you come into when you come into the yacht. I have made this floor into kind of the dining kitchen bar area, um, kind of the eating drinking spot. Uh, put a kitchen in back here, uh, and these windows do open, so you can kind of have a breeze coming in as you're cooking here. Um, still have the command station or driving station. I did replace these windows. Uh, the other ones were looking pretty ratty. And we do have a fully stocked bar. So we're ready to uh, set sail and go have some fun. Um, yeah, we have dining room over here. And then uh, just a little sitting area here um, on the back deck. And then if we go down, we have just a couple of loungers down here off of the swim deck. And then we'll go up this way around the edge. You can see I painted everything white and then I put um, this kind of, as best I could do, teak wood look here. Uh, so the front deck here has the lounging area with some chairs and sofas and the little brazier there. So you can sit out in the front of the yacht here and kind of chill out, hang and chill out have some drinks or whatever you want to do. Oh, 
we'll walk back this way. So that's this floor. Let's go up. So as we come up here, we've got some plants and a sitting area. I uh, did take the hammer out of that and it said, oh, look, you fixed it. That was kind of cute. Uh, and then here we have uh, just another table and chairs, a couple of hanging loungers. Uh, and then I put up a uh, living wall here. This is all floral uh, going around the, the opening in the stairwell here. Kind of see the back side of it here. Um, to keep from falling off. But also to add a uh, wall of uh, living plants there. Alright, so let's go check out the basement. Or the, I should say, blow decks, right? Uh, let's see, which way should we go first? Let's go right first. So we've got a couple of decorations here in the hallways. Two doors. I did not change any of the walls down here. Open this up. And here on this side, we've got the one bedroom. And I'll kind of pan around so you can see. Put a, uh, the, use the living wall, living florals there on that wall. Got a dresser here. And this is one of the rooms that does have a bathroom. So you come into this bathroom here. You've got your sink. And then your suspended toilet. And I put rain shower showers in red rainhead showers in all of the bathrooms. So it's very similar. The bathrooms look real similar. So let's go across the hallway and take a look at the other one. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to close the door, get this out of the way so you can kind of see here. Uh, this one I did with the tropical leafy theme. Uh, chose this bed because it has a really unique headboard that I think fit the theme real well. Put some pictures here on the wall and then did this um, shelf unit display just kind of randomly put some of those together I think turned out pretty good got another bureau here some candles on it and then over here to this bathroom and we've got very similar layout in the bathrooms sink uh, with the dual storage and then you have your um, suspended toilet and the uh, rain shower on the end there so bathrooms are very very similarly laid out all right so that is two bedrooms and two baths on this side let's go up and go across to the other side so here to the left I think this is kind of more like the master Of course, any of them could be a master because they all have bathrooms. Got some wall art there. Little bureau here. And then, of course, the bathroom. And again, very similar sink situation. Suspended toilet and then the uh, rain head shower on the end here. So very similar in the bathrooms. The walls and floors are a little bit different, but uh, very similar. And the last room over here is now a entertainment or a living room. Let me close this door. You can kind of get a look at the entertainment system on this side. Got some storage and then a nice uh, seating, sectional couch seating area here with the uh, paneling to kind of give it some more warmth down here. I think it turned out pretty good. So that is the two rooms down here. And I believe we have seen the entire yacht. There wasn't much to do really. Uh, you had the uh, two floors in the front here and then you had the um, the bedrooms downstairs, three bedrooms, three baths, and the living room area downstairs. So let's go ahead and put this up for sale and see what we get. All right, there is no garden, so we just go straight to auction and 
we paid uh, about 112,000 for it. Renovation costs about 5,500. Spent about 30,000 on furniture. Sold about 15,6 in furniture. And see, wow, Family Johnson uh, is offering 743,834. Oh my God, this is the most I have ever made on a house. A profit of six hundred and twelve thousand dollars oh my god that is so so good <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and accept that offer because that's just a darn good offer so let's go ahead and do some of those before and afters uh, that I've put together As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me and checking out my house flipper videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one and you'll check out my other videos. Have a happy holiday season and we'll definitely catch you on the flip side.